going over the trading system signals for December the first, first trading day of December as we continue to research these portfolios for uh, January 1, 2020. And we have tick count trend, even the S&P stopped out near this high swing. Otherwise, it would have been a decent trade. Fairly narrow range in the e mini S&P today, uh, 27, 27 and a half points with this kind of pattern right here, a narrow pattern up sideways and then down, and so not a uh, not any not much of a trend throughout the day. Fairly choppy throughout the day overall, and that was tick count trend to one minute. The five minute version was up 587.50 minus 425 on the one minute version. After hours ES, it's uh, late tonight, long day, uh, putting this video up late. No trade on Monday night, so we're already in the Tuesday session. 60-minute uh, breakout short. Um, took a short trade here on, at the end of the day. It's following through pretty well so far. Adaptive moving average, kind of a break-even day, plus, minus 12, or plus 1250 on the day for that. Uh, cover 3 mini S&P stopped out. Just no follow through on this trend, and even with a $600 profit target, uh, no dice on that. Uh, came close, 36.77.50, and we had we have Asia 4. It went long in the after hours, and it is long minus 3.12.50 on Tuesday evening, or actually it's Wednesday evening. So we are on um, we're on Tuesday evening, actually Wednesday's session. So AT2019 uh, plus 37.50, just a sideways day. Uh, that's the e mini S&P trades. e mini NASDAQ, AT2020 plus 15.25. This was a big winner on the day. Nice to see that trade. Tick count trend in Q, um, minus 6.25. Tick pulse V12, minus 6.25. 60-minute breakout. It was up 9.75 on the day. Stock index swing, no trades. That was yesterday's trade right there that you see. Um, gap continuation, uh, minus 650 on the day. Two trades stopped out uh, like we could get some follow-through into the close, and it was stopped out. NASDAQ traded at highs. Uh, gap continuation 2019, same thing. Um, it was down three. It had three losses on the day, minus 975. So... Cobra 3 mini NASDAQ, it also lost on the day, uh, dove right down. Otherwise, uh, that would have been a good trade. Just ran the stop there at, right on the point of entry, so a bigger stop would have worked a little better. Um, $600 stop loss, the low on that bar was $12,350. Uh, got stopped out at $12,373.75, so we need another 25 points. We need another uh, $500 stop loss, maybe $1,200 stop loss today. Um, as the NASDAQ traded at uh, all-time closing highs. And gold. Um, no trades today in gold on SR Counter Trends. There were some trades yesterday on the SR Counter Trend V2Ms. Today, uh, SR Counter Trend 4 gold, it traded. Minus 825 on that trade. Um, we had... Esther Counter Trend 3 Gold, it was stopped out, re-entered at night, and was stopped out again. Unusual that it does that, but that was the trade that it took. Um, Esther Counter Trend 3 yesterday took that trade, and then last night it got short and was stopped out um, on the B version. Asia Gold 4 was stopped out. Uh, gold, was, gold was, I guess, oversold and had a big rally back. On this, uh, you see that it took out these 1800 levels, tra took, tra took out these 1780 levels. Now, there were some stops down there at 1780, and so it uh, pulled back quite a bit. Now it's bouncing back a little bit, oversold bounce. And um, as you go for is long tonight on the 2020 and the older version. Silver, uh, some short trades there, plus 475, minus 825 here. Uh, crude oil, uh, no trades on the day. Uh, the beta strategies, Viper plus 200, VSD was a big winner on the day, plus 1270, Tick Fader minus 625, EVP1 minus 1415, uh, beta C version, uh, VIX OC is long tonight on, as we start the Wednesday session, VSD ES was, had a nice day of about 1200 on the day, um, PR breakout, 
Eighth loss on the day, minus 325. That $300 stop loss is really tight. And then the new 60-minute breakout B was down on the day, uh, minus, I guess, it's, up, it's actually up on the day, plus 50, had a loser and a winner. And so soybeans, minus 375 on Greens Day Trader 3. Euro, Euro trades at uh, above the 120 level. U.S. dollar is weak. Uh, a short trade yesterday, a long trade today, uh, plus 987.50 in the Euro. Natural gas, no trades. Arbob, no trades. And um, so those are the trades on the day. You see the um, profit target versions of Cobra 3 were both stopped out as well. The market just did not trade high enough to get uh, even a t even a stop loss, even a profit target hit. So um, we have the old and the optional versions as well. And so those are the trades on the day uh, for December the 1st, 2020. Pretty choppy day. And uh, looking for some more uh, price action tomorrow, more trends tomorrow. Market just seems overbought now. Uh, it's been turning around these levels. So uh, what will we see tomorrow? Uh, maybe some more downside tomorrow. We'll, we shall see.